Hello, YouTube algorithm. And my one loyal subscriber. Thank you so much. I'm on a roll. One video, one subscriber. If this is a uh, exponential growth kind of situation, man, I'm on the right track. Uh, so this video is not going to be woodworking. It's a car video. Subi community, where you at? I'm going to tag this out of that. I've seen a lot of Subaru upgrade videos. Maybe some of you will be interested. I don't think any of you have done this one. So Subaru Crosstrek, here's the grill that comes with it. I wanted to switch it out, something a little different. A lot of people where I live have Subaru Crosstrek, so that kind of blended in a little more than I was hoping. And I didn't love the grill. Subaru does make a different version of the grill. I think for like the Japanese market, you can buy online. And so here it is, boom. There's the other grill uh, Subaru sells for this car and it snaps right in. Easy peasy. So the idea was to buy a rigid um, LED floodlight kind of uh, spotlight thing and then mount it behind the grill and cut a hole in the grill where the logo would be, where the Subaru, uh, not logo, uh, emblem would be. Uh, so maybe from a distance you wouldn't notice it's a, it's a mod, maybe, if you're blind. Uh, so here you go, you start chopping away. It's not easy, it wasn't easy to, to cut that out with the Dremel, I thought it'd be easy, but the angles are weird and the inside of that plastic mold is thick, which was nice because the parts I cut away didn't really compromise the structure too much, which is good. Um, so here's me slowly but surely grinding down to the area I needed to be. Um, and if you also notice the colorway of the grill isn't really what I was wanting. The, my Subaru's trim is all black and this grill is kind of this gunmetal and off bluish black. So I was going to have to end up painting it. Abrupt transition. So I got the, uh, got the grill in. Popped in for now, just the main part. Here's the fender I'm going to mount to. Metal, folded, welded. It's got a nice little flap here. I'm gonna bolt on that. So, what I did is I went and got me some hardwares. Yesterday I got some angle iron and the old ruler that was coming apart. So, went to my buddies. We sacrificed the, the ruler. And we made these little cuties. So this, um, which way does it go? It goes, this goes like this, and this goes like this. Mm -hmm. right there, and then this, see the little holes? Whoop, goes like this. <laughs> Best vice you can buy from an antique store. Test fit number uno. So another little thing I decided to add here, there's additionally a frame support above the grill. So I thought just for rigidity purposes, I'd add some lightweight aluminum struts coming down. That's this right here, bending it up. Getting the light mounted up for the first time here. Uh, part of that Bananas uh, Ace Hardware bill is these little spacers, rubber spacers. Thought that might be a good idea. Kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Okay. I think it fits. Alrighty, she's in. Grill's still getting painted, but I got the whole assembly painted up, mounted. The wiring goes up and through here, under there. And here's the uh, um, relay, and it wires to the battery. And then the other one goes through the uh, grommet in the wall there. That sucked really bad to get that in there, but it's in, it's sealed back up. You got a temporary button for now, the button that came with it. I'm gonna wire up the, uh, the other one next week probably. But you flip the button. Boy, and it's going. Sheesh. 
So here's the painting of the grill. I don't think I've ever cared so much about a paint job in my life. I really researched and looked into this to make sure it was done right. It's on the front of a car, you know, it's going to get beat up and it's near a lot of other parts it's supposed to match and it won't. So I tried really hard to find paint that would match, paint that would stand the test of time and then I followed the instructions. I uh, 3M scotch brighted it. Um, Prepped it with some prep spray, some kind of alcohol-based spray that kind of gets plastic ready to, to paint, takes all the oils off of it. And then, you know, a lot of thin layers of paint and a layer of clear or two or three, I forget. And yeah, painted it right up. Transition. All right, here it is. Final product. Um, you know, get a couple shots embedded in here of what it looked like. Uh, I all finished up this one. I got one on the beach from the weekend. Holy shit. I'm going to have to blur out the license plate for this whole shot. God dang it. Um, anyway, I'll work hard at that. Don't you worry. I learned how to do it. I know how to do it. It's just slow going. Oh, man, look at all that license plate. Maybe I'll do a slow-mo and then it will be less license plate edits. But yeah, I got it in there. It looked pretty good. It was hard to get it centered like that. Um, you know, I just, I made sure that all the holes in the frame of the thing were slots. So there was adjustability, but I'm pretty freaking stoked on the thing. And it works like a champ rigid lights is they, they make their LEDs are better and their, um, their optics are better. And man, they, you, you hit the, you hit that light and you can just turn off your headlights because the headlights, the high beams, they ain't doing nothing. So that's the video for the day. Uh, you know, let me know down below what you thought of it, what you got for ideas for new videos. What do you what do you want to see out of this channel? You know, interact with me. Why not? Uh, honestly, I'm a, I'm terrified of the comment section, so I don't go down there. But uh, I'd love if y'all do some interacting with each other. Push some buttons, like, dislike. I don't care. Push buttons. You know, that's all I'm encouraging here. Have a good night. Bonus, how did the button install go, you might ask? Great. Uh, I won't tell you about the first try, but the second try went great. So, a lot of people just use the rigid button, drill a freaking hole in the panel somewhere, and, and I don't like the way that looks. What I did is I bought an aftermarket switch, get another switch, get like the, the uh, steering responsive switch. Usually you don't have that if you have a lower end cross track or just buy another one of those take the button out of the switch housing the switch housing will snap into this thing yeah and then and just a simple small i think um auto zone button the smallest one they sell literally fits exactly in that housing would you believe it so bang 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 button clean that's all i got for you